uh, annual um, a monthly uh, meeting, the third Wednesday of every month of the Local Development Council. We want to thank you for joining us. I see a couple of names I do not recognize. If you are visitors, we want to thank you for hanging out with us this evening and trust that something we say or do will have a positive impact upon your life while you're with us. Our agenda is uh, kind of short and brief. We want to try to get right into everything that we're doing and move from there. Our first uh, thing on the agenda is the spending plan, the recommendations. Uh, Ms. Street, I understand that uh, uh, the county exec has already made the recommendation, sent them back to the county council, and there's some change already by Councilman Burroughs. Um, I, my concern is why we didn't get a copy of that before it was sent to the county council or um, while it was being sent to the county council. Do you know anything about that? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. To apologize for that. Yes, I need to um, find out why you did not get a copy, and I'll make sure that you do get a copy of it. And if there are any changes from council member, I'll make sure that the council will receive it as well. Yeah, we the entire the entire county. I mean, the local development council should receive that. I don't know why that hasn't been received, but I understand that the recommend. I don't know what the recommendations are, but I understand that they have been changed by council member Burroughs. And something has rec been recommended to uh, to uh, go forward to 2024. I, I I can't tell you any more than that at this point. But, yes, uh, sir. I haven't received any notification from council members. I don't have that information. But when we do receive it, we'll make sure that you receive it as well. Okay. Uh, we, we should have received it, from, not from the county council, but from the county exec's office. Okay. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm sorry, this is Amber Hendricks from the Budget Office. Can you guys Go ahead, hear me? Go, yes, hi. yes, Amber. Okay, hi, uh, Amber Hendricks. I'm trying to use my phone so my camera can't come up. But um, I did have a presentation to give today, just an update of um, where we were with the process. Um, okay. And to kind of give you, and I, I do want to make one clarification, um, is that the um, local... Um, the spending plan, which is CR 85 2023, um, mm -hmm. it was scheduled to be before um, the Committee of the Whole uh, yesterday. Um, and so they did announce um, probably about 345 after the long day that they were going to be deferring it to October the 24th. Um, so at this time, the council has not taken up um, the actual resolution that needs to be adopted to finalize the plan. And so um, we, you know, assume that um, based on the council's prior comments that there may be a draft two of that resolution that gets um, transmitted. Um, we are not sure at this particular time. We have the administration, um, at least I'll say as of yesterday, had not received a draft two. So we're not aware of any specific changes that the council member uh, may put forth um, in the plan. And yeah. we anticipate receiving something next week. Um, yeah, I mean that's just what. Back before. Yeah, that's just been what I've, I've been told. I would like to have seen uh, what the county exact recommendations were from yeah. her office going to him. Uh, or to yeah, the and I can go through that document. I mean, it's the same um, as what was transmitted to the LDC. There were not any changes from the original plan and what was included in the approved budget, um, and so. I can, if you would like, I can kind of go through the presentation. I'm not sure. I didn't get an opportunity to present in detail the spending plan um, prior to the LDC kind of giving comments um, to it. So I know there were some questions that were put forth in your response back in August um, mm -hmm. that, you know, I can try to answer or try to address. Um, if if warranted it, if that's the will of the committee. Well, I don't want to put you through all of that. I'm just concerned as to whether our recommendations were accepted by the county and and sent in in that format, or if she, if she made changes to it before saying it to the county council. Is, okay, is what so we're... I can answer that question. No, there weren't any changes. The LDC's comments, the two that pertain to FY 2024 which were the um, the the speed cameras and the um, 
the designated grant pot of funding. Um, mm -hmm. And so on the speed camera piece, um, I know there was um, some information provided that some that it should be eliminated. Um, and I think it was some maybe not clarity because it talked about the state passing a bill authorizing additional cameras on yes. um, Maryland 210. Yes. And that is true that there was state legislation, but there was no funding provided to the county to actually put those cameras up, according to the people who administer those programs on the county side. Um, so we worked with the Revenue Authority um, as the agent who operates the program on behalf of the county. And what we were informed by them after the passage of the legislation was that the county would have to pay for those cameras. And that is why that funding was added in a spending plan to address the need that the county executive had heard from the community of an issue of speeding on Maryland 210. And, um, and that's why the funding was maintained based on the advice and recommendation of the implementing agencies um, in the government. Okay, let me ask you a question on that. What, so the three cameras that were there, um, already, uh, I know that they were. There was some talk about them losing funding. So, do you know if the three cameras that would? So, it wouldn't be six. It would. It would end up replacing the three that that would be so lost. How they have described it has will be a total of six cameras. Um, would be placed there. That is how they've communicated the information to the budget office. Right. Um, and so um, that there will be six cameras and that for these three additional that the county would have to pay for them. And again, I think there have been a lot of conversations about the speed camera program. I mean, most of them, you know, I guess you could say lose money. But I guess the point is that we do want, you know, people to slow down on our roads and it's not yeah. a, a, a revenue that's going to make money all the time. But um, okay. just wanted to clarify that because um, I know we did read that. I did do some follow up inquiries into the Revenue Authority about that and um, some documents that they have provided. And, and that is the feedback that they have provided us. So I want okay, so, to. So, to OK, so OK, so the be six and not nine. Right. So it's three, and I think we're going to six. Yeah, three, and 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 okay, all right. I, I was just thinking in terms of the three that were already there that I ride past every day, mm -hmm. haven't paid a speeding ticket yet. Uh, <laughs> so, I slow down when I get to it, and then if everybody in the room would admit it like me, I speed up <laughs> after I get past. It. Can I get an amen from anybody? <laughs> Right. Amen, amen, thank, amen. Thank, thank amen. you, Miss Wilson. I, I see you laughing, Miss Wilson. Thank you, Cherise. Okay, so so we we will end up with more than likely we'll end up with three. I mean, six and not nine is uh, yes. basically what you're saying to me. Yeah, that is my understanding from the rep, the implementing agencies in the county. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the <laughs> other thing that that we pointed out, Amber, there was uh, I think what was two hundred fifty thousand dollars designated for. Um, 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 entities that had not yet been been named, and I of course had some problems with that because that ends up doing the same thing that Councilman Burroughs did, uh, giving money to people who have not uh, gone through the process of bidding for the money. Um, I forget what uh, line item that was, but did that come up at all? You still there? Uh, Pastor Robinson, can you hear me okay? Um, yeah. Okay, so Amber, um, Kanika has sent a message asking, do you want her to show the PowerPoint now? Because I think that may help you. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, she can do that because she was due to come up next anyway. Um, um, yeah, well, that was on a grant timeline. But yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? Maybe that'll help us to answer some of the questions. Uh, Tanika, please don't hesitate to grab the mic. Well, Amber will actually be presenting it. I just didn't know if, since we were kind of talking through the details of it, if she wanted me to bring it up. Amber, okay. did you, she's she's going to present on um on the well, multi-year spending plan. Amber, do you want and, me to bring it up? And the and the and the timeline. Just want everybody kind of aware of the timeline that we're faced with. Uh, I talked to Kanika earlier, uh, trying to you know talk about that, and hopefully we we were trying to get it done earlier so that we're not rushing to uh, do any final results with, with respect to 
uh, trying to get this back to the county executive in order to go to the county council. Yes, we do have the grant timeline as well. Um, so okay. those, those would be two different things that we can present. Okay. All right. Come on in, uh, please. So, Kanika, I'm trying to, uh, for some reason on my phone, I, I can't see um, what's on the screen as well as talk at the same time. Um, gotcha. So, and maybe I think it's going to be quite challenging, but I think would... Um, with um, Pastor Ro Chair Robinson was asking about is on slide number nine. Um, and um, there's a line item under um, okay, uh, the, Nicole, under the community in background. Okay, yeah. Nicole, Nicole, you've been asked if you can share the screen. Yeah, sorry. Right now, it uh, looks like participants don't have that ability. So as soon as I get oh, that. Really? Okay. All right. Okay. While 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 you're trying to do that, let let's keep. Yeah, uh, I would just say that even if I can, it's, it's not a hundred percent necessary. But Pastor Robinson, I do want to say that the count the plan that was presented for the council continues that particular line item. Um, and, um, you know, I know that your the LDC's concerns um, related to competition, um, you know, it's just, it's been one that you have expressed before. Um, at this particular moment, that actual grantee and how that process were, you know, um, hasn't been identified. Um, but I do believe there are some specific services that the administration wants to get delivered um, in this community. And that's why that particular line item um, was maintained in the budget, um, you know, based on some specific, um, the implementation of some specific items that the um, administration wanted to complete this fiscal year. And so I do want to say, you know, it isn't a competitive process, but these organizations do participate. They are required to complete an application that, that is reviewed by our office. They have the same reporting um, requirements that um, the the grantees that um, receive funding through your, um, through the LDCs, um, competitive process yeah. and so you know they may be identified but the reporting you know the application that they are required you know they have to you know provide in the general service areas that the LDC goes through their process um, they do have to meet those requirements and you know they're legitimate established organizations yeah. that have a long history in the community yeah I, you know I'm, I'm not so, con so much concerned with the vetting process I'm talking about the fairness of of these 39 people we put through the, well, you know, when we did the workshop, it was over, what, 70, 80 people uh, mm -hmm. honed down to, I can't remember the number, but they all had to compete. And that's been, I'm not, I have no problem with, with the services that are being provided. Uh, my concern is that we be fair with uh, the competition of this money rather than just, you know, naming some organizations because they're longstanding and, and those kind of things. I can appreciate that. Um, my concern, even in the monies that we are overseeing, the $850,000, that we just not arbitrarily give the same organizations money every every year. I don't think that's fair. I think there are other organizations, even though uh, in, in, in Councilman Burrell's uh, instance, he named uh, uh, organizations with proven track records. Well, how do I ever, ever get to be a proven track record if I never get, a, get to compete for the money as an organization? I'm just concerned about the fairness of people who have who don't get a shot at this money getting a shot like everybody else. So that was my concern with that. But that's not a a issue that we're dealing with now. But I just wanted to explain what what that was about. No, thank you. Thank you for okay. communicating. Can I get an thank amen you. from anybody else? All right. Praise, praise the Lord. I, I, I can't help but bring a little church in here. Uh, Rashida, I was trying to get in touch with you, wanted to talk to you a little bit, but I understand that you you are after your master's degree and you don't have time to talk to anybody. You said that I'm after what now? Master's degree? degree. Oh, no, I completed that 20-something years ago. I'm working oh, on oh, a doctorate oh, now. Well, I don't know I mean, what that's I'm, what I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> doctor. I got master's 20 years ago. I, I'm, I, I'm, called you, I called you back twice on two I, different days. I know. Days. Your mailbox is full. I was in. I was in. A, I was in a funeral with one of them, 
And I don't know what I was doing with the other one. I was I was whispering in my wife's ear something. And I, I don't know what I was doing. Let me behave. Lord have mercy. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so so the next thing we wanted to talk about is uh, uh, the recommendations for the vice chair and the appointment, of course, of the, the, the uh, as you know, I my time expires in 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 uh in December. Uh the vice chair position, of course, is is recommended by the uh, by the LDC, voted on and approved. But the county exec, um, she of course names whoever she uh chooses to be the uh chair. And uh, I I I was I've spoke about a recommendation to that. I don't know uh what the situation is with that at this point, but we need to uh uh, uh Carrie, Carrie's time is up in December as is mine. And we, we had, go ahead, go ahead, Rashid, Rashid, did you raise your hand? Oh, I was just raising my hand to say my time is up in December as well. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't realize that. I didn't look at that. I didn't see you on the schedule. Okay. Um, and, and that's a concern that we have, uh, Ms. Street and Ms. Curry. Um, and I, we'll talk about that next, but we want to want to deal with um, the vice chair position. My recommendation, and, and I spoke I, I spoke to uh, uh, Delegate Turner, who has has probably more experience than all of us. Uh, my recommendation was to to offer her name up and put it on the table for the vice chair position. Of course, you know she's a delegate in this district, and I don't think that she would be able to. To do the chair position, but the vice chair position, I think that she can handle. Um, as you know, she doesn't take a lot of stuff, and uh, and it's it's just kind of important that we get these things done before um, my time is up and before the vice chair's time is up. My time is up in December, along with the vice chair, as far as as her position as vice chair. I don't think she turns out the same time. Uh, uh, Rashida terms out, but we need to make certain that we have someone in place in order to to uh, keep functioning. As you know, um, we lost the, and we'll get to this in a second, we lost uh, five people all at the same time, the chair, the vice chair, um, the selection panel uh, person, and two other committee persons, and along with Nicole's position, which threw us in an uproar, and then we had uh, COVID to hit, hit us, and it took us about eight, almost nine months to recover from that. I'm trying to assure that before I get out of here, uh, at least things are in place that that doesn't happen again. So uh, my recommendation is uh, for the vice chair would be uh, uh, Delegate Turner, not unless anyone else has any recommendations that they want to make. And what I'd like to do uh, is uh, at the end of everything that we're doing is vote vote on that if you don't mind. But my recommendation would be uh, uh, Delegate Turner, uh, who has uh, probably more experience than all of us who are online at this point. She's been here since the start of the Local Development Council and uh, an outspoken voice at times has even slapped the chair upside the back of the head uh, uninvited. So, you know, I, I think that she she would be a a good uh, vice chair um, for this position, knowing everything that she knows and has having been involved in this thing since the inception of the Local Development Council. So we can talk about that at the end of the meeting, uh, take a vote on that and, and kind of go from there. If that's all right with everybody. Can I, can I get an amen? Okay. All right. So one of the things that I was concerned with in these divisions that we have, we have the Oversight Committee, Selection Panel, Legislative Branch, Public Relations, and Needs Assessment. Now these things were in place when, when I was asked to take over, particularly a oversight. So we put these five, well, the, 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 uh, um, the Legislative Branch, of course, was Obi Patterson, Delegate Turner and uh, uh, Delegate, uh, I'm missing one, Delegate Turner. Chris. Say it again. Was it Chris? Yeah, Chris. Valderrama. So, Valderrama, yes. So that was pretty much already in place. And of course they handle the legislative kind of things that we're trying to get done, particularly with the speed cameras and, and those kind of things, changing legislative 
uh, changing or trying to change legislation legislation to handle this money. So consequently, that's already in place. Uh, the legislative branch is now made up of Senator Muse, Delegate Woods, and Delegate Turner. Um, needs assessment. Uh, let me call these names out. We didn't really get to this. I kind of took this on on my own and spent a lot of time doing this. But uh, Miss Lane, Wilson, Huggins, Bethay, uh, and Jackson, and, along with myself. And I will pass these on to whomever uh, will be the next chair or pass it on to the vice chair and she can pass it on to the next chair. Uh, then the public relations was uh, Rashida. And of course, uh, Rashida was kind of, you, Rashida, you, you kind of made some comments on that that's, that it really, you didn't have of the opportunity to kind of do what you need to do. And I don't remember what you said about that. Yeah, no, um, there's just uh, quite a bit of restrictions um, as far as the LDC controlling um, the web page website and mm -hmm. or uh, social media venues. So we were kind of limited to um, using what's already provided for the county website. So we weren't able to go as uh, reach as far as we initially intended. Okay, I know that Ryan, uh, along with uh, the other secretary, would make changes, but you you ran you said you ran into some restrictions. Short yes, of that. I would I would just submit changes. Um, we were actually trying to uh, get some sort of control where we can add things or make adjustments. But um, if I recall correctly, the web page is limited to the parent site. So you can't really make any visual um, changes for that. And as far as social media, we couldn't run our own um, pages on the various platforms. Uh, what we did was start you know, posting about the grant application process and the training, we would post through the county execs, we would make a request through the county execs page, as well as the Prince George's County nonprofit organization page. So that's how we would, we increased um, awareness, but we okay. weren't able to create our own things. Okay. All right. And then next was the selection committee, which was uh, Dr. Latimer, uh, Carrie Mack and uh, Rashida. Um, and uh, and the oversight committee, of course, was I named uh, Dr. Huggins, myself, and Dr. Lattimore. Now, the the issue is going to be the same. What we need to do is develop standard operation procedures for each of these divisions, so that uh, if we have, and I want to talk about that next, but if we have a mass exodus, the way we had when I first took took uh, the chair position, we can at least have something in place that people can stand on, go with, and keep moving rather than falling that hole into that hole we fell into. It took us almost nine months to get back uh, uh, ashore. And it's important for us to understand that the sta a standard operating procedure should be developed for all five of these uh, uh, divisions or de departments, oversight, Selection Committee, Legislation, Needs Assessment, and Public Relations. So we need to we need to to be able to have something in place that people can pick this up and continue to run. Make sense? Okay. And and uh, we 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 really didn't get an opportunity to get that done the way I thought that that we should. So that's something that we that's still left on the table. That and all I'm concerned with is trying to leave this this in the best position possible. In my absence, come December, and Rashida's absence come December. So uh, you know, I have some concerns about that. Anybody else? Anybody else uh, uh, terminating uh, by December that I may have missed? I don't. I don't think so. Sharice has just just got here. I I, I don't think so. So I don't think we'll have that problem. But what we're going to have, Ms. Streeter, is the problem that we ran into when I was asked to take over. You had a number of people all come on at the same time. They are all going to expire at the same time. They're, go they're going to terminate at the same time. And what I would suggest is talking to Mrs. Uh, um, um, oh, 
what's her name? I'm 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 getting slow and old. Uh, Miss, uh, what's what's her name that handles all the assignments? Uh, are you speaking of Miriam? Uh, appointment? Yeah, Miss. Yeah, yeah, Miss okay. Miriam. Yeah, yeah, Miss Brewer. Yes. We are going to have to agree to do something to stagger these positions because we had five or six people all come on at the same time. They're all going to expire at the same time. We're going to be in the same situation that we were in the last time this happened. Of course, COVID hit and created all kinds of problems uh, that were even worse. But you have a number of people who have joined or have been added to the LDC that will all term uh, terminate or the time will be up at the same time. That has to be addressed. And it, it, it's not going to happen for another two years, but it has to be addressed because it, it created some serious, serious problems for us. Um, and it's going to happen again if uh, if that's not uh, taken care of. So th that was the base of the standard operating procedure, the recommendations for the LDC and of course the county exec has a responsibility to assign the chair, uh, the spending recommendations and uh, staggered term limits and of course the timeline. Uh, Tanika, did you have you come up with a timeline yet that we can just kind of talk about and, and 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 look at? Yes, we do have a timeline. Okay, so so the timeline will outline for us when we need to have things done. And I think it's important for us to have that in front of us. And before that happens, and Tanika, uh, Kanika was saying that she was attempting to um, get that out a little earlier so we'd have a lot more time. As you know, it goes to the county council. They have 45, what is it, 45 or 30 days. Well, this is just for the grant. So that part right. doesn't have to. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Go ahead Kanika. Okay. So, um, for the most part, especially in the beginning, this follows last year's timeline. Okay. Uh, we're looking to announce the awards sometime in February, and then we'll do a workshop a couple of weeks after that, and it'll be a very similar workshop to last year's. The grants will be due in mid-March, and we'll give a month for OMB to go through the applications and see who has completed who has submitted a complete application and whose application doesn't have everything that we require. So they wouldn't even go to the LDC at that point. And then from mid April to mid May, the LDC would uh, review the complete applications. And this is where there's a change from last year's timeline. Typically we were giving until mid June, but then that would just give too tight a timeline to get the payments out within those two weeks, especially because I don't, I don't know exactly kind of what's happening here, but the last couple of years, the LDC would pick awardees and then those, those awardees wouldn't be in good standing with the state and we had trouble getting a hold of them. So we'd have to pick an alternative. And it was just really difficult to get all of that done within like between, you know, the third Wednesday of the month and the end of the month, because June is the mm -hmm. end of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So um, we do want to try to shorten that and get that done by mid-May. And I think that before the we had talked about um, with the rest of the county execs team, we had talked about before the LDC even votes on awardees, I'll do a double check to make sure that the people they're proposing are in good standing with the state still, because they probably submitted those applications a while ago. Uh, you know, the, between when the applications are submitted and when we're looking at their good standing state, it's tax time. And so if they don't submit their tax information, they can get out of good standing with the state pretty quickly. Um, and that'll at least allow people to, it'll just give us more time to be able to contact the awardees and and hopefully they can get their documents together. Yeah. Um, and so we were proposing that the LDC would review for about a month. And then uh, after that, the final vote would go still mid June, but again, we'd have a little bit of cushion because we would have already, the LDC would be proposing people who are still in good standing um, and payments would go up by the 30th. Okay. So, so you're saying while, while uh, Dr. Lattimore's crew is, is doing their assessment, you're checking then or, uh, or you're checking after 
they recommend or you're checking during the time that they are looking that 30 days that they're looking at the uh, at the uh, at the grants? I think how it could work is that Dr. Lattimore's team would um, review the grants and make their recommendations. And then before that goes to the LDC for a vote, because remember last time we had to like call this quick meeting to. Yeah. And that was kind of difficult. So Dr. Lattimore's team would make their recommendation and then I would go in, use that list, double check that everybody's in good standing with the state and that they have a vendor profile with the county. And then as long as that list is good, that would go before the LDC, the entire LDC for a vote. Um, and if okay. that list isn't good, then we have some time to kind of fix that right. before we get to the June vote. So, so let me ask you a question. Is it possible... The, the requirements, I think you sent me something on that before. I'm, I'm wondering if it's possible to give organizations the the uh, the ability to see what's needed. I understand the workshop, mm -hmm. but but to list what's needed um, on on the website, also to send that to each of the LDC um, members so that we can have that up front to know what we're looking for, um, what the what those who are, who are competing for the money need to see and need to do. Um, I, you sent me something on it once before. I don't, I don't remember, I can't find it, I was looking for it, mm -hmm. but it, it was the outline of, 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 of what the vetting process was, what would be needed, those kind of things. I think that's important for the LDC to know. It's also important, I think, Probably before before uh, the workshop, that those who are sitting in the workshop would have the opportunity to read, look at, go over, uh, so that we can kind of eliminate a lot of the stuff that you have been experiencing when it comes to uh, the vetting process. I will say it is getting better. Um, the PowerPoint, which is the basis for the workshop and with the required right. requirements to submit the application, more. They are, that is on the website, but we can probably highlight that a little better okay. um, so that LDC members can send out just, you know, send out the website link and applicants can, or potential applicants can really clearly see what is needed from them. Yeah, I think that, I think that would help. I think, you know, a lot of people, I mean, they're not doing the due diligence, right? And it's, it's causing problems for us, of course, when we... Um, sit down in front of these things and 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 then discover they are not uh, where they should be. Um, so I think that would probably be helpful that you highlight that on the site and, and perhaps send send a copy to us so that we can just go out and go over it and you know be a bit more proficient in what we're doing. Okay, I know Dr. Lattimore had her hand up. Hi, Kanika. Um... I think that one of the comments that I really wanted to make is um, when we look at those applications, um, because I think Rashida and I have been doing them for two to three years straight, um, it depends also that time frame from the 19th of April through May 17th. We were under the assumption that once we received the applications that they had already been vetted. And only then when you called and, you know, you, you you told us that, you know, like you said, tax time, some things have probably changed, but also it does, it has a lot to do with the number of applications that we get. Um, I think because Carrie, Rashida and I um, really did a deep dive in those applications because so many people were doing, um, so many grantees um, were trying to do the same thing. Um, and we were trying to, you know, spread the money around because it, you know, it, it went down last year that we really um, looked at them. But the number of applications and the number of people on the committee really makes a difference um, because like sometimes I would take 15 or Rashida would take 15 and then 14, we would split them up. But, you know, with everybody working and everything, I would highly recommend that if we get applications in the 60s like we did last year, I think last year was the, the one year that we got a lot of applications mm -hmm. for the first time. Yeah. Um, so it takes time that you have to sit down and do that. So if we could expand that time, because that's a month, but it a month really isn't long enough 
to vet all those applications thoroughly. Um, so if we can't do that, then the recommendation would be that we have at least four or five people on the oversight committee. And with Rashida yeah. leaving, um, I think it's just a team of one now. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, we we can we can take care of that. I, I didn't okay. realize that Rashida was leaving. We can assign a few more people to that. So we'll we'll talk about that offline and okay. uh, kind of go from there. Uh, so could that time frame be expanded, or that's the max that you guys could do? Yeah. I think I think we can compromise and give it a couple more weeks. I think we just don't want to we don't want to wait until the June meeting to for OMB to be reviewing it again the the applications that you guys receive have been vetted and at the time that we review them they're in good at the time that they submit an application they're in good standing but between that time and the payments going out at the end of june they could come out of good standing okay and so we recheck it before we send the payment out because we don't send payments to organizations that aren't in good standing with the state and in those you know four months they might be not in good standing anymore and so we have to recheck it but I think that we could give you guys maybe another two to three weeks. And we just want to make sure that before you guys go to a vote, we are super sure that everyone that the LDC is voting on is good okay. to go in receiving a payment. Yeah. No, and I understand that. And I think that your recommendation for alternates is is also a good recommendation. So thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you remember last year, we did that. And and uh, you had to come back to us with people who had were vetted to begin with and then not vetted after they were sent to us. So that is a problem. So the vetting process, as you said, before the checks are sent has to be done again. So, and if you remember, she had to come back to us in order to uh, make a recommendation for money um, that was unspent uh, that we had to recommend to somebody else. Ms. Wilson, uh, you, you uh, had a, uh, question in the uh chat i don't necessarily uh take a look at that but uh um what was your question again miss wilson i can read her question okay she had just asked with the document and i believe she's referencing the timeline will it be provided hard copy We'll we'll probably edit it to incorporate Dr. Lattimore's, you know, need for more time, which makes sense. Um, okay. So we'll edit that timeline a bit, and then we can send that out to the members so everyone's aware. Okay, makes sense, Miss Wilson. Okay, now you you're talking, but you're not you un unmute yourself. You you're not you're muted. Can you hear there me? There you now? go. Yes, okay. ma'am. Um. The oversight committee. She was saying something about they might need some more people. Uh, not not on the oversight, but on the on the selection panel. Selection panel. Yeah. Okay. You 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 okay. just you just voted yourself in. I, that's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank we'll, you. Thank we'll, you. We'll we'll talk about that, Miss Wilson. Okay. Thank you. And the and the other thing you should understand, uh, I get the chance, uh, um, Madam Vice Chair, I get the chance to read the Ride Act in the uh workshop you know threaten talk about being hung uh, by the neck until dead if you misuse this money and all that kind of stuff uh and uh if i remember correctly uh Kanika, correct me if i'm wrong we had about 70 80 people in that first in that last session and uh by the time we finished reading the ride act i don't know if it was the first or the second time that i did it but by the time we finished reading the ride act we only had about 40 people to apply for the money. Okay. Well, <laughs> you said the well. applications are getting better every year. So something's yeah. working. Yeah, I think, yeah, something's working. I think uh, they, they, they kind of getting the message that this is not a giveaway. Right. So okay. basically, basically I said, if you can, and, and this is, is this, this timeline and in, 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 uh, in concrete or this may change. This may change because we're going to incorporate Dr. Lattimore's feedback, um, but uh, the earlier part of it, we're, we're probably pretty good with, and we know that we have to have things done by June 30th. So we'll add another two to three weeks to the LDC committee's review process. Mm -hmm. And um, 
and yeah, and we'll just, you know, if you guys can incorporate some alternative awardees and then uh, we'll, OMB will double check before the LDC gets to even vote that yeah. everybody on that list will be good to go. Yeah, this is probably more important to Dr. Lattimore and the selection committee than than the rest of us. Uh, but um, um, it's important that everybody knows these timelines and just in case you get shipped to the round or something like that into another division. And of course, the... Uh, the uh, the standard operating procedure. Uh, we, we'll have to talk, uh, Ms. Streeter, to to the division heads about getting that done. So that's put in place that we can uh, give that to everybody that needs to receive it. Uh, and uh, any, any other comments on on the uh, timeline? Yes, I wanted to um, ask Kanika if they can just consider. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, real quick. Uh, I just got a text from. Delegate Woods that she was trying to get back in and needed to be let back in. Uh, Nicole, do you see her? Nicole? I'm look I'm looking now. Sorry. Okay. All right, go go ahead. I'm sorry, Dr. Lamo. Yeah, um, Kanika, if you could try to do bef uh, like the week before Memorial Day, I mean, Memorial Day weekend, um, give us that much time because, um, you know, some people on the, on the panel may have Memorial Day plans and stuff like that. So I don't want to stretch it too much, but at least another week. Okay, that's fine. I okay, can... thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And the last thing I had, uh, Nicole sent me today a request for repurpose um nicole I, I don't i don't have the name of the the organization in front of me but this is kind of late for repurpose and did they give us a uh, a mid-year report uh as you know we get a mid-year report and an end of the year report and we need to look for that because the end of the year report comes in december everybody should get a copy of that you get to go over the budgets uh, that these people have submitted um, and uh, uh, make, making sure that the money, of, of course, the oversight committee has the narrowing down of making sure the money is uh, spent spent properly, but we want to make certain that everybody on the council gets a copy of the mid-year and end-of-the-year reports. So this is kind of late for a repurpose. Um, I haven't looked at it uh I just saw saw a request for repurpose, uh, and here we are, October, and we we end up in December. So, this, as far as I'm concerned, I, I have some concerns about that. Uh, um, so I'll take a look at that maybe tomorrow, and uh, we can kind of go from there. But I'm all, almost inclined to deny that at this point, being so late and repurposed, and that should have happened. Uh, before the mid-year report, to be very honest with you. Is there any way, sir, that we could implement that, um, a deadline for the end of the year reports in the workshop? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if we talk about that, Kanika, in the, in the workshop. We, don't. But we we Okay, we got the mid-year and the end, end of the year report, uh, Kanika and Amber, you guys can kind of stick that in there. In the we 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 do mention the reports that are due in the workshop, and then on the award letter, it gives them more the dates that they are due because we give them like a year from the date that the payment is sent out, and because that date can kind of vary, we don't have like a strong shot. So, but in the award letter, it says that like six months, and six months from this uh you know award letter date, your mid year report is is due, and then a year from that, your final report is due. Um. But but we can okay. highlight it in the in the workshop. Yeah, yeah, we might want to do that. Yeah, I think we need to come out and say if you want to repurpose those funds, they're due by this date. Oh, okay. So you want to set a cutoff for repurpose requests? Yeah, I think yeah, that I would think... be a great idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we can do that. If if you guys let me know when you want the date to be, then we can put that in the we can put that on the award letter, and we can put it in the workshop PowerPoint. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So, so probably so, a, probably a month or two before the workshop, I'll reach out to the LDC to kind of get a consensus for when you think that cutoff date should be. Okay. So we'll look at this. I'll look at this repurpose uh, request tomorrow. 
uh, more than likely will be denied. Uh, I can't understand why are we this late. I don't know if they, uh, can you, um, Nicole, uh, can you send um, Kanika a copy of that repurposed letter to make certain whether we received the mid-year report? Yes. Okay. And then we'll follow up from there. I'd love to, like to see whether we received the mid-year report before even calling them. Okay. So all that's left is uh, the nomination for the uh, vice chair. Of course, uh, December is is uh, carries uh, last day along last last month along with myself. Uh, we do have the responsibility to uh, vote for a vice chair. Uh, of course, the county exec makes a decision on who who the chair is going to be. So um, what we want to do, now unless you have anybody else that you would like to make mention of, I'd like to uh, nominate um, uh, the lady that sits on the, on, the, uh, on the phone books, um, Delegate Turner. Uh, I would like to nominate Delegate Turner as the vice chair. Um, and uh, would ask for a second on that, not unless you have someone else that you may have in mind. So, Pastor Robinson, if I could just step in, I'm sorry. Yes, um, Prepare to talk about the, vi the vice chair and the chair. One of the things I do wanted to, wanted to ask, do we have anyone that is interested in taking the mantle that you have created and developed to take to become the new chair? So I just wanted to... Um, uh, an idea from that perspective because until cause then I just need to be able to have a conversation with that person, talk to them so it can be a, a really great um, transition from the from the you're serving as a chair to the new chair. Well, you know, as I said, I'm, I made a recommendation to you, but that's the county execs call. That's not something we do. Uh, no, 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 no. What I was asking, though, more so on this call, is there anyone that is interested in serving as the chair? And if so, I wanted to have that conversation offline at another mm -hmm. time so we can talk through that um, so I can make a recommendation to the county executive. Yeah. So this is Dr. Lattimore. I would be interested. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Thank you, Dr. Lattimore. We appreciate that. I don't know if it's going to be like, I don't know if I'm going to have that same uh, mindset once, you know, you get in there. But no, <laughs> after sitting on here for three or four, um, almost four years, I might have to check to see if my time is up. But yeah. I would be interested in that. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so what we'll do, I um, or Letitia, Letitia who's on the line as well. She'll show her picture in just a moment. She's our new administrative assistant. This beautiful hey, young lady here. Hello. And so um, we will send you an email or a phone call so we can schedule some time just to chat with you so we can talk a little bit about what those next steps will be. Okay? Okay, that's fine. And I do second that um, delicate Turner for the vice chair if there are no objections. Um. Conversation in the conversation. We've, we've, we've had a nomination, a second, any, any, any conversation? Mm -hmm. All right. All in favor, uh, would you please uh, raise your hand? And, and so it looks like we have Aye. a um, unanimous uh, vote. Okay. Uh, welcome to the club. Uh, Rashida, I didn't see you. I didn't see your, uh, uh, your vote. Okay. All right. I mean, it would be, it would be, it wouldn't be unanimous. It'd be, it, it, I didn't see a vote. But Sheila, are you still there? I'm still here. I didn't yeah, we, we were asking for a vote on Dr. Uh, I mean, Delegate uh, Turner for, for uh, Vice Chair. Everybody's you off. Want, yeah. You want to know no. my vote? Yes. Oh, I vote yes. <laughs> You're unanimous. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. So we, we're good. Uh, uh, Delegate Turner will be taking over in, uh, in Curry Max Place uh, in January. And then, of course, uh, hopefully uh, Dr. Lattimore, after a discussion, um, 
uh, will be selected by the county exec. Well, that's it. Um, okay, and um, I'm sorry, I have one more thing. So we talked about that piece. So we do have some exciting news. We are hosting in our department, it's called the Nonprofit Empowerment Symposium on November the 1st. And so we're excited to share, we're going to have over 300 and almost 50 people that have already registered to attend. And so this is a one day event where we're going to provide information, education and grant opportunities on the county level, state and federal level to nonprofits. And we'll be um, at Prince George's Community College. And if we have a minute, Leticia will show this, um, just give you a quick uh, picture of the flyer that we'll send out to everyone. And because um, we do not have a final approved budget for the Local Development Council, instead of having a presentation about what you all have and can offer, what I'm going to do just in my talking points during the introduction on November the 1st is share that in November in a couple of weeks, sorry, I'm at a location, we will be able to share what that amount will be. So we won't have a full presentation, but at least I'll share with my talking points uh, because we do, we wanna be able to share with them the amount of money across the board from county, state and federal that we have available. And so again, okay, this, this is completely independent of uh, the LDC, right? Say that again. This is completely independent of the LDC. This is another pot of money. Yeah. Yes, yes, several so pots. yes, several pots of money. It is. Okay. Um, um, Letitia, can you move it over or maybe it's mine? Oh, it could be mine. I'm sorry. Now you're going to send this, you're going to send this to the LDC? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just wanted you all to be able to see it so you know. And then um, that way I'll email it to you all. And then um, you can, and Nicole can email it to your database as well. Because we think it's important that all of our nonprofits, as we always say, have a seat at the table and to talk about the amount of millions of dollars, millions of dollars that we will be able to share. And um, again, this is a project that's under a strategic partnership. We'll be calling the C3 Experience, Connect, Collaborate, and Cultivate Relationships. And Ms. Sheila has done an amazing job in securing about 10 speakers that will be present. So we're really excited about this. Okay, all right. Um, the only other thing that I have, uh, Ms. Street, is, is the recommendations that we made uh, from uh, one through seven should be posted on the website so people have an idea of what it is we're looking for uh, from a needs assessment. The thing that I've found is that most nonprofits coming in to compete for this money have uh, <clears throat> told us what they want to do in the area versus what the needs assessments are. So we need to we need to post the recommendations uh, that we've made uh, one numbers one through seven um, to to the uh, website so people can understand what it is we're looking for. Um, other than that, uh, as I, as I said, I understand that uh, Councilman Burroughs has made some changes to our recommendations. I haven't seen that. Don't know what it is, but uh, uh, it hasn't gone. I, I don't know what's going on with it. That's all I, all I was told. So, but uh, we'd like to post the recommendations that uh, we list one through seven on the on the website. That that should have been been done by now. I didn't see it uh, the other day when I looked. Um, so, if you can make certain that what we're looking for is posted uh, out of the needs assessments, rather than people coming into mm -hmm. the uh, impact zone telling us what they want to do I, I think will help a little bit not that we want to uh, eliminate people with services that uh, we may not have considered but we do want to make certain that the needs that we have assessed in the time that we put into that are posted on the site so so that uh, nonprofits can kind of get an idea of what we're looking for particularly when it comes to uh, uh, beautification and those kind of things and, and also, of course, the possibility of awarding grants for greater than the $50,000. That has to be posted whether we have the money or not. It gives us the ability, um, according to Ryan, it gives us the ability to award up to those certain amounts. So if you can take a look at that, if we need to talk to me about it, we can have some discussion about that. 
Okay, no, I appreciate that. Wait a minute, she muted herself. You just you just She's muted going. yourself. I'm sorry, I apologize. I said I will talk to with Nicole as well in terms of the website. So we'll make sure we'll work towards that task as well. Okay, yeah, that has to be posted before we uh we go out for um, a bid to make certain that uh you know we have the ability to award more than fifty thousand dollars if we have that possibility. So that has to go out uh beforehand. Okay. okay. We'll All right. Thank you. Um, okay. Can you pull that down so I can take a look at everybody that's on? Uh, Miss uh, Taylor, uh, would you, you have anything that you would like to share with us? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. I'm actually, I'm the legislative aide for Senator Muse, so I'm just here um, on his behalf to uh, take some notes to take back to him. He wasn't able to uh, join the meeting this evening. Oh, okay. You say you're Councilman Muse? Yes, no. Senator Muse. Oh, yes, Senator oh, okay. Yes. All right, tell, tell him we said hello. Will do. All right, do it. We'd like to know what he looks like. <laughs> I will let him know. <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Miss Moore? I want either. Okay. Uh, I don't see anybody else that I don't recognize. Um, uh, yeah. Any, we, we want to go across the table before we close out. Uh, 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 Miss, go ahead, Miss, uh, Miss Moore. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. We can hear you. I'm. Hold on one second. Okay. Hi, I'm Juanita Morikita, and I am with stakeholder engagement with the county executive's office, and I'm okay. sitting in um, assisting Miss uh, Holt Streeter and Sheila Curry. Oh, y'all gang um, up on us. Just tonight, here huh? for the listening. <laughs> oh. Thank you all. Nice to see everyone. Oh. Hi. Okay. Y'all ganging Curry up on us nice tonight, huh? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Miss Bethay. I Nothing. can't hear anything. Can you, you hear can't... me? Oh, okay. Uh, we heard you, Miss uh, Miss Moore. You're muted, Pastor Robinson. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> uh, Ms. Bethel, go ahead. Oh, I didn't have anything. Oh. Okay, Ms. Wilson? No, I didn't have anything. Thank you. Okay. Other than the, the committee possibly being on. Okay, the... yeah, I'll, I'll buzz you before the week is out. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the lady on the high chair. Let me behave. Let me behave. I can't help it. I ain't got but another two months. I can't, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I got to get you back for the way you've been slapping me on some side of the back of the head. <laughs> first, uh, can I speak now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. First of all, I want to thank everybody on, on the panel, on, on the LDC, which I love so much from the beginning. I was... Um, the county exec at that time appointed me to the LDC. And um, I've been loving it ever since. And I feel that uh, Miss Lattimore, Miss Lattimore, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Darling, I hope you get it. Okay. Because I, I know, well, now that I, you know from, it, I know, I'm I know in good from shoes. my heart, from my heart, I know that you and I can work very well together. Yes, ma'am. And uh, we, we're going to make sure that the the new, I'm going to call it the new LDC, as we, uh, uh, you know, put it like lightly, that we're going to do good things. Good things is coming our way in 2024. Okay. So um, I want to thank everybody. And uh, yes, I am. I'm sitting on uh, some books 
because I'm 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 only five even, and I cannot. I want to. I'll see. Oh my okay. god. Okay, you know. <laughs> so, and uh, and anything that I can help to bring to make the LDC a better place, I'm willing to do it. All and right. thank everybody. All right, Miss Jackson, Rashida. I don't have anything, thank you. Okay, uh, Kanika, you have any, anything uh, else you want to add? Uh, no, not here, but we'll, we have a couple of follow-up items, so we should be sending an email out soon. Okay, uh, Miss Taylor. All right, Sharice. No, I don't have anything. Okay, Amber. Um, I'll just say that hopefully, um, if those who can't join the council session next week, if you could listen to the um, committee of the whole session to hear feedback, um, and what the final what's what's uh what's the date on it? Do you have a date? It is the Tuesday, the twenty fourth, and I think they have it at eleven. But I'm gonna I'm double checking right now. They've been going between 10.30 and 11 for COW. Let me see, check their website. I'll put it in the chat. I was okay. going to say, Amber, we can put that as part of the email too, the link to Perfect. the meeting. Okay. Uh, I, would, I would recommend that uh, everybody on this council um, be in at least listening to that meeting so that you can know what's going on. You need to understand this process. Uh, our recommendations go back to the county. County goes back to the uh, county exec goes back to the LDC, and uh, you need to understand this process. Very okay, important. Looks like it's understand. eleven o'clock as of now. Pastor okay, can Robinson. you? Okay, thank you. Can you? Can you? Can you send that to uh, Nicole? And Nicole, yep. uh, if you can put that out to everybody, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Miss Carey. Hi, everybody. I'm How sorry. Here I am. Good so, to see you. Good to see everyone. Thank you for having me tonight. Just taking notes and listening in. I'll definitely be listening next Tuesday um, with the county council. So, um, but that's it. Hopefully um, you guys can join us at the symposium. Uh, I think either Nicole or uh, Letitia is going to send an email to everybody with the link to the um, Eventbrite website so you can register send it all to out to all of your nonprofits so that they can register uh, but it'll be a great day with lots of grant funding for for you know opportunities for everybody okay don't let right. don't let uh, don't let anybody fool you miss curry carries a big stick <laughs> oh my so we glad to, glad to see you well that's it uh, you. amber good, you. To that's see you good to see your face amber, yes, uh, amber. Thank, you know, let me let me say something about office management and budget. These two ladies, I'm advocating that both of them get six figure raises. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm telling you, I, you know, I'm trying to have fun with this, but these two ladies have carried me, have helped me, and do a fantastic job at, in keeping us online. I mean, we put them through a lot of stuff, but Amber and Kanika, you know, Kanika left the job and went and found another job and found out that 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 wasn't a job she should have so she came begging her way back in the door and she's back with us but these two ladies i mean to tell you i, I have not experienced anything like the love affair that's been going on between the local development council and the omb i just want to amber just and kanika just want to thank you guys for um, for um, for the for the work that you do, for the timeline, the stuff that you put in, uh, I just don't believe that y'all make enough money. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send the I'm gonna send the county exec an anonymous letter, <laughs> and then then I, when I catch you at one of these meetings, I'm gonna bring y'all up so it'll be out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, right? <laughs> Let me behave. Let me behave. Um, but that's it. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, Pastor Robinson, are we at our, uh, our quorum? I mean, um, are we short any members? Uh, are we supposed uh, to have a total of 15, correct? Uh, no, we're supposed to have eight. 
no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Total L L D C million. Yeah, we, yeah, we're supposed to have 15. We we short one. Uh, we just short one. Yes, ma'am. And uh, of course, uh, Rashid and I, uh, we uh, we term out in December. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, Miss Miriam has uh, considered anybody else at this point, or the, the county executives considered anybody else at this point. Miss Rita, I, I would think that you you would need to probably get on that right away, uh, so that uh, I, the vetting process. I mean, they took me through everything. Uh, when they had me to come on. I don't know how they missed my cocaine sales and my, my pocketbook snatchings and my robberies. I don't know how they missed any of that. Uh, but, uh, but I mean, they, they literally put you through the ringer in this betting process. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, I, I, it's, it's going to be a, it, you know, what I'm saying, Ms. Rita, uh, Ms. Curry, it's going to be, a, it's going to be, it's a process in order to get, these people on. So I think that uh, that needs to be considered before myself and Rashida uh, are gone. I mean, we only have two more months. So I think that it would be be wise for her to, to jump on that now. I don't know if that county exec has anybody else that she's recommended, but if she hasn't, and if they go through the same vetting process that they went through with me, uh, it's going to take a minute, is what I'm saying. And, and I mean, they checked they checked everything. I don't know how they missed my robberies. I just don't know how they did. I don't. They 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 missed it though. Pastor but, Robinson. Uh, Pastor yes, Robinson. Pastor yes, Robinson. This is being recorded. Pastor Robinson. I know. This is being recorded. I know. I know. Oh, okay. if, if if anybody can't figure out, I'm joking. There's something wrong with them. <laughs> But, so just, uh, just just for clarification, so we need to be able to be prepared to replace two members. Uh, well, I don't know that it's two. You need to look at. Uh, I had uh, Miss Miriam mm -hmm. send me the uh, the um, the uh, the term limits. I don't know what I did with that. I don't know where that is. But you need oh, that's to okay. have, have have her to send you that because you really yes. need to take a look at who's expiring uh, in order to deal with the. The uh, as I said earlier, in order to deal with the uh, the uh, term limits, and we don't have five or six people all all terming out at the same time, you sure. really need to talk about that. You you really need to talk. I don't know, I don't know what the law is or what the rule is, in order to maybe change things by a month or two, uh, stagger those those dates by a month or two. I think that would be wise to do that because I mean to tell you, it put us through the ringer to have all five of those people. And it just happened to be that the the chair and the vice chair were both a part of that uh, that term limit, along with the along with the section selection committee uh, chair. So that that really created some problems, and I, you really need to take a serious look at that. Uh, okay, no, definitely will. I've been in conversation this week with uh, Ms. Boer, so I'll follow up with her uh, internally to find out, looking at the full. Uh, council and their their term limit. So I appreciate. Yeah. it. So we're missing. It's a total of fifteen. We're missing one um, mm -hmm. at this point. So uh, that that'll be important, really important to uh, to take a look at. All right. Uh, if we were in church, I would say, if all hearts and minds are set, uh, all in favor of uh, um, closing out this meeting, or or do I have a recommendation? Uh, so move. So moving. Second. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Ben, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Love you guys. Have a good evening. All right. See you Everyone next, see you next month. Already. Bye-bye. Thank you.